welcome back to the next part of the series so in the previous part we were discussing the uses of radioactivity and we covered a few things like being radioactivity being used as tracers in medicinal use and in industrial use and then we had a couple of other industrial uses like testing for cracks like thickness monitoring and then we also discussed another medicinal use which was radiotherapy where you could treat cancer with um, gamma radiations now another very important use uh, and it's quite important that's why I'm making a separate video for this is carbon dating so this process is basically uh, used to identify the age to determine the age of old fossils that are found in archaeological sites so what we first need to know is that we have an isotope of carbon which is carbon 14 so it will have this symbol carbon 6 because carbon element always has six protons and then it is slightly different from the more abundant isotope of carbon 12 and this has uh, the mass number of 20, uh, 14 which means it has eight neutrons inside it so this isotope of carbon is radioactive and this radioactive isotope is actually present in all living things including our bodies and any other biological life so that includes all animals and also plants and trees and stuff so the thing with carbon-14 is that as long as you're alive the amount of carbon-14 inside your body roughly remains constant now why is that because uh, carbon-14 although it's radioactive so it will it should basically reduce inside our body but because we eat and we breathe and we drink stuff um, we also replenish the stores of carbon-14 in our body so as long as we are alive the amount of carbon-14 in our body does not really change that much and it roughly stays constant but when you're dying and after you're dead or any living thing is dead the carbon-14 continues to decay because it's radioactive so the amount will start to reduce because now there is no eating and breathing so you're not consuming any more carbon-14 so the uh, the carbon-14 starts to reduce inside the body so what happens if you find an old fossil like this one I don't know what is this a fossil of but let's suppose it's a very old animal and from the shape you can recognize what animal this is so the scientist uh, that will discover this fossil will probably have an idea uh, of the normal amount of carbon-14 in this type of animal while it was alive and then they will compare this value to the current value of carbon-14 when this fossil was found now carbon-14 has a half-life about 5700 years now if you don't understand the concept of half-life go back uh, uh, to this playlist which I'm making and I have a full video explaining what is half-life and how half-life calculations can be done so by measuring the activity of the fossil right now and comparing it to the activity the known activity while it was alive we can determine how old the fossil is so for example let's take an example where you find a fossil with the activity uh, where the activity that you find is 200 this is the activity of the fossil now and while it was alive back then the activity the known activity of this particular animal was 800 then so it's 200 now and it was 800 then now how if you compare the two values you can see that 800 can be divided by 2 two times to get to 200 so if you divide 800 by 2 once you will get to 400 and if you divide 400 by 2 again you will get to 200 so that means that two half lives approximately two half lives have passed 
since this animal has been dead and this fossil is almost two half lives old now if we know that the half life of carbon 14 is 5700 years that means 5700 multiplied by 2 is almost 11400 years so this here will be the age the approximate age of this fossil now this is obviously a really broad estimate and it's not a very precise value but it still gives us a good idea of what age or what era uh, is this animal from so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one